Sustainability is the key thing that helps people through the future. If we weren't focused on sustainability, we wouldn't have things that actually are there for our kids or their kids. So my great grandkids, there may not be something there. And if we look in agriculture, sustainability is probably one of the most important things that we can actually focus on. Our goal in doing the Beaver Dam Analog Projects was to make our place more sustainable. A BDA is a beaver dam analog. So a BDA is a man-made beaver dam. And what that is is a structure that's put in the creek to slow down water. But a BDA is there to actually mimic a beaver and a beaver dam. So it slows down the water. So the water is actually subbing into the soil and it helps the hydrology of the land. And later in the year, that water is expelled or put out further into the year. So we put BDAs in our creek about four years ago, and the reason that we did that is we recognized that we were losing stream flow. My brother and I, we run this piece of property, and when we were kids, there was beaver in the creek. And then in the early 90s, the beaver disappeared. And so we recognized that possibly the reason why we were losing water is because the creek had straightened out and there was nothing holding it back. And so we implemented BDAs on our property to mimic the beaver because in the early 90s when we were kids, we had a lot more water. And in our area, our snowfall and our rainfall actually are what gives us the water throughout the year. And so if we let that water run by us really fast and we don't capture it in any way, we can't keep it high on the hill. And it's amazing on this year, we've had a high snowpack. I mean, we had a lot of snow this year. And so runoffs were extremely high and our BDAs are now full of sediment. And you can see where the BDAs were not in other creeks. And it actually has eroded a lot of the soil away and it's made that creek channel a lot deeper. And so we've, we've seen some real advantages to doing BDAs and that's why we implemented it as, as a sustainability practice. So a riparian area is where the water actually dissipates and it's where your green grass and your vegetation is. The one thing that's really neat is we see in the West when we have wildfires that if there are beaver in the riparian area or a BDA, there's not quite as much land lost. Riparian areas are saved because they're usually moist and wet and wildfires go around them. But as we put those BDAs in, our riparian areas went further up on the hill. And to do a, a restoration of a creek, you have to reestablish some way to hold that water back so your riparian areas are larger. And so that helps out a lot of wildlife. The big thing about a BDA is you want to attract a beaver back in. But if you don't have a pool of water where a beaver feels safe, the beaver will never stay. And you can see this bank here is about 12 feet tall. That's all due to the fact that there was nothing slowing the water down. And that's how much dirt we lose. You know, this is one thing that they've been worried about as far as sustainability forever in our country is the soil erosion. So sustainability is a big part of that. We need to protect our soil because we live on just a couple inches of topsoil. If we continue to lose our topsoil somewhere else, it blows away or washes away, we get into big trouble cool thing about it was is my brother and I remembered where the beaver dams used to be and so we decided this is the best place. We drove posts down through and as you can see we don't have a shortage of rocks in our area so it was kind of hard driving those posts down in the creek and then we started to just weave branches and you try to get water to come out, cascade through it. The one reason why you get water to cascade is the beaver can hear water cascading and they want to stop it and so that's the attraction to a beaver. There's quite a bit of work that goes into weaving those branches and basically pushing some mud up to seal it up like a beaver because that's what a beaver does all the time. When we came in and did this, there was none of these willow trees here. You can kind of see we've got eight BDAs along here and a lot of them are full of mud, but they're still working because we got water running out. Probably 50 yards on both sides and you can see how these willow trees have now came to life. As farmers and ranchers, we really focus on providing for the future generations, but also providing for us and the land and taking care of the land. So sustainability, it's a little different for each person, but for me, it's for the future.